What's up, Dragon Slayers? Um, so, if I'm showing my face, it must be pretty important because I don't show my face like all that much. Uh, and let's go ahead and discuss it. All right. So, earlier this uh, this week, YouTube announced that they're going to have a partner policy change, mainly because someone on the creator blog was like, I hit 10K views like two months ago. Why am I not being monetized? And they, the response is, uh, well, we've actually looked into changing our monetization rules. Um, you now have to have 4K hours watched um, over the course of 12 months, by the way. So 4,000 hours watched over the course of 12 months and 1,000 subscribers to be considered. If you don't feel like doing the math, 4,000 hours watched is 240,000 minutes. It averages out to about 20,000 um, minutes in a month. So, what does this mean for you if you obviously don't meet these requirements? Well, you lost your monetization, but chances are you weren't making a lot anyway, so it sucks, but, you know, it's the harsh reality. You're really going to cry over 10 cents. You can't even go to the drugstore anymore and get, like, 5 cent gum, so it doesn't even matter. Um, and I don't think individual drugstores even exist anymore. I'm not really sure. Uh, but, you know, it sucks, but are you really missing out? Come on, and this whole uh, oh I'm a I'm a ba I'm a block YouTube I'm a do all this stuff, um and you guys should follow me. We should create this hashtag of whole uh, switch to Twitch or something like that. Let's be honest. Are you gonna make any more money on Twitch? Or are you not even gonna make affiliate on Twitch? Right? I mean you could. It's always possible. But are you really? Um, and like, let's let's be honest. You're not gonna block you. You're not gonna. You're not gonna um, strike YouTube. You're not gonna strike Google. Uh, that's. I'm just re rehashing the things I've seen in YouTube Facebook groups. Um, because like, okay, first of all, what is the most popular phone, mobile phone, among users? It's an Android phone. Granted, various different companies create an android phone but android is the operating system and guess what most people have an more people have android phones than they have iphones Let, let's just clarify that so are you really gonna block google that means you're gonna go pay apple extraneous amounts of money just to block google you really want to like go in the red because you're mad at google and you, you really think you're going to not use Google search to try and search up research topics if for that midterm paper that you have due in the next eight weeks? Congratulations. I just reminded you that you probably have a midterm paper due in eight weeks if you're in college. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I mean, let's be honest. And if you're offended and you've clicked off this video and you've just liked it, congratulations. You don't get to hear the advice I'm going to give the small YouTubers. I don't care either. Um... Because, like, you're mad. And if you really are going to do those things, probably is better for the rest of the small YouTubers. Because, guess what? Less saturated videos going up uh, means that viewers are more likely to stumble upon our channel. Hmm. Ends up helping the people who you don't want it to help. Go figure. All right. So now that I've probably offended the people who are going to go leave and dislike this video... Honestly, go right ahead. I don't care. Uh, helps me out, so thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's talk about how, you know, what some things you can do to help get back to the monetization thing. Um, things that small YouTubers can do to go ahead and go through these troubling times. But first, alliteration. And I think I'm using that word right. I might not be. So let me um, go ahead and live in blissful ignorance but i think alliteration technically means i'm using a story to prove a point but it's not at least i explained what i'm trying to do so let's say you and a couple buddies you know you start up a band um and you're practicing and like you're showing off concerts to like your close friends and stuff like that and then like all of a sudden traction becomes behind behind your band and you become you get record labels you do tours you're at red rocks Everyone loves you. 
Or let's say you are an actor who wants to be the next hit thing on Broadway or um, Hollywood. You go to audition, they say, hey, we just want you to be an extra uh, in this play or in this um, movie. Are you going to say no? You might, but it is probably the stupidest thing you've ever done in your life. Want to know why? Because think about it. You work with a director. He gets to, like, understand you. He talks to another director and is like, hey, yeah, this guy was, like, really nice to work with. And he had no complaint, even though I cast him as an extra. Uh, the other director's like, do you think he'd, like, work in an independent Hollywood film for as a, as a lead? And you're like... And the director's like, yeah, sure, probably. And congratulations, you are on your way to become the next big actor and having $20 million a year. Or, sorry ladies, I'm going to talk about, the and kids, I'm going to talk about childbirth. Uh, let's say you give birth to a child. Do you expect that kid to already be 18 years old, ready to move out, and already have a college degree, and, you know, ready to contribute to the workforce? No, of course not. My point being, it takes time to make a good thing happen with kit with kids acting or music obviously you're going to put the time in because it's what you love doing well with youtube if you love doing youtube you're also going to put the time in right um i hope my point is driven that you need to go ahead and put in the time it sucks yes i realize the things that you lose with um losing monetization you lose the extra little bit of income that you know might not be what you're trying to live off of, but it could. It was just side income, you know, like pocket change that you could go ahead and spend at the store, like if you wanted a chocolate bar or something, right? And I say this stuff because, like, I don't make a lot, so I am, I can imagine people who aren't meeting the requirements make not as much as me. I don't know. It, CPM's weird. I don't want to get into the whole advertising cost and revenue and all that, but. It sucks, you know, you're losing obviously a little bit of side cash that you wanted to use for like pocket change to like go buy, you know, a soda or something from McDonald's. Or, and, you know, it is proven that the algorithm does favor um, monetized videos. So yes, you're losing a little bit on the promotional aspect. All right, guys, here's how you're gonna get through it. Um, and this works especially well for gamers, but I mean, it can apply to anyone. Uh, well, first off, you're gonna keep creating videos because you enjoy doing this and it's not because you only want to do it for the money. I really hope that people who have made it to this point really just enjoy doing YouTube. I know I do. It's a personal hobby to help curb some of my, you know, depression issues, low self-esteem issues. It's a hobby for me. Like if it ever takes off, then sure, I'll make it a job. But, um, they always say like, no, you know, having a hobby you love doing is great. Making money off of it is just a bonus, right? So, I mean, it sucks, but first and foremost, this should be like a hobby of yours and just something that you do because you want to do it, not just because you think it's going to be a quick, easy way to get rich, because it's not, you know, you got to put in time and effort. Um, and sure, you'll have the one-off cases of people who just completely grow like a million subscribers overnight. It happens. Like there's a... When you take a large population or a large survey size, there's going to be one or two like weird bell curve things in the bell curve um, that end up happening, obviously. Uh, so there, there is that like to consider, right? Anyway, if you enjoy doing it, keep doing it. I mean, people are going to really see that you love just doing YouTube, and they're going to you and be a good personality, be someone who. Who some people can relate to like I don't know how people relate to me I'm a weirdo like I, I, I just I'm weird but people relate to me I probably like other weird people I guess but I mean my subscribers really aren't weird they're actually like I feel like they're actually normal people which makes it me really wonder why they want to watch me right because I'm really weird um, but you know keep doing it people are gonna see that you love doing it they see that you're not doing it for money and like maybe it starts building up a Fan base. I'm sorry I keep adjusting my glasses. They, they like, are really loose. Let's try this. There we go. You know, you're going to build up a fan base, right? Of people who just are subscribed to you because they want to see you. They don't... I mean, some people probably subscribe just to see certain games. But most people, I feel like, subscribe because they like the YouTuber. They, they want to see more of what the YouTuber's doing, right? And, ch and subscribers, on average watch a lot more than non-subscribers right 
I mean, think about it. You're a random guy. You see this weirdly weird tattoo parlor. They're doing, like, really funky things. Nah, I'm not going to stay there for more than a minute. But the people who really love those weird funky things are in that tattoo parlor getting a tattoo, right? So, you know, keep doing it. Do it because you love it, right? And uh, here's the biggest thing. You might be like, well, I mean, if my videos aren't monetized, then they don't get as much promotion. That's true. It sucks. Um, but YouTube, and I and I really quote, YouTube are the ones who um, forcibly promote monetized videos, which, of course, in, if you're thinking like in a business sense, it makes sense. You want to put out more content for people to watch who are um, going to drive advertised revenue. So obviously you're going to push down the non-advertised revenue. Um, but the reason I specifically say YouTube is think about it. Like you're on Facebook, you're on Twitter, you're on Instagram, you're maybe on Reddit, you're maybe on, I don't even know. There's so many social media sites. Let's get real. You're on all these social media sites and you know, you talk to people, you hop into groups. If it's like on Facebook and uh of like-minded people and discuss you know and i'm gonna say do really good at promotion i'm not saying go spam your links everywhere because that just does no good no like really put thought out posts of say hey guys you know no dragons please here i got another world of final fantasy episode and this time we're going to be facing shiva and ifrit in the coliseum so if you really like it feel free to follow the rest of this you know stuff like that make it make you know really sell yourself um because at the end of the day, you're your best marketer. Um, really sell yourself on social media sites. And the most important thing is to keep promoting in places that don't like you promote. Well, okay. Let me clarify this. Because there's going to be people who take this literally. And if a Facebook group says there's no promotion, they're going to be like, but, Trey, but this guy told me that I can promote anywhere. No. Please read group rules and adhere to whatever rules the admins make. Because otherwise you get kicked out of the group really quickly. Let's be honest here. But at the end of the day, the people who achieve are the ones who promote to people that thought they didn't actually want, you know, let's face it, your YouTube channel's a product. They didn't want your product. But at the end of the day, they decide to go ahead and go for your product because they're like, no, you really have initiative. I'm going to give this a try. And, you know, maybe they maybe they really like your product and they stick around. Maybe they try it for a little bit and then like leave. But, I mean, at least you got someone to try it, right? So, at the end of the day, like, always always promote yourself. Because, again, you're your best marketer. Um, keep creating content. Because, again, that's your product. Um, yes, I'm doing this in a very business sense. And, if... Again, if people really love your personality and product and values and stuff like that, then they're going to go ahead and help you get to those monetization parts. I hope this kind of inspired you to go ahead and like make great videos. Um, if it didn't, and if you just got salty and disliked the video, I'm sorry. But yeah, I just wanted to create like a little something that small YouTubers can look at. And um, you can obviously understand that, you know, it's not all done. It's not all ogre, right? You know, this isn't Shrek. There's no ogres here. It's not ogre. Um, clearly, like, you know, it's going to take a lot more work. I'm not going to lie. It's going to take a lot more work. It's going to take a lot more work for me, too, because obviously now I have something that I have to try and do. I have to consistently make sure that I'm above that 240,000 minute mark for every 12 months. But I'm saying I'm going to try. Hope you guys are going to try. If this helped you, feel free to share it to another small YouTuber who might be wallowing in despair. If it didn't help you, I mean, at least you got to hear a message, right? Like, you got to hear another point of view. But thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys later, and goodbye.